rewind back to a lonely room and I'm sitting there with a tape recorder listening to our mixtape and I swear the Beatles sounded fuller when we were dancing to it and you have two left feet and I'd laugh awkwardly every time you swept me in your arms and turned around in tiny circles and you were afraid that we'd both fall if you went too fast so you do the ref feet and the right feet and make a shy little square and get us spinning in the kitchen and I learned to cook for you and I remember you screaming in panic when the oil for the pancakes was on fire. You put ice cold water on my head and we sat there laughing at each other, dripping wet in our sin. But baby, I wasn't in fire then, not yet. My arms could still extend towards you and show you the horizon. I was a moon child and you were the whole damn earth. I'd revolve around you, transfix your eyes. You could fling down oceans in a fraction of a second. I could only write poetry about your mouth because I was too afraid I'd get lost in the cosmos of your kiss. I still touch my lips sometimes. My fingers follow the curve of my sadness, attempting to imitate the moist of your lips. And the last time I met you, we were running, and you stopped, held me close, whispered in my ears that you're leaving me. And I looked up at you and I told you I was too broken without you. Don't go, don't go. Please stay, please stay. You kept running. My feet faltered. I was sinking to the ground. I was in eclipse, but I couldn't return to startle the sky. My fire was extinguished. My limbs were exhausted from trying to not drown. And every time I dream of you, your mouth frequents broken homes. And I keep taking bricks to cement the holes that you left. And I, I had another dream. And in it, you were mine.